exciting news. Every Blackpool fan the world over has woken up to the fantastic news that Simon Sadler is now the owner of Blackpool Football Club. It's been agreed with the Football League today. The club have made a big announcement that Simon Sadler is the new owner. Goodbye, the Oystons. He's got the shares of Bellicon as well, so there's no way Owen Oyston can come back, which is fantastic. So you can all buy your season tickets now and let's get this club going up. Let's let's start this season off brilliant. Um, he's coming early enough as well, so there's still time to buy players and everything, which is great news. I read in the paper today that it's an estimated £10 million that he's got the club for, which obviously isn't going to clear anything anything of Oyson's debt to Bellacom, which is wonderful. Every, every Blackpool fan will be very excited about that, so carry on selling all your stuff, Owen. Brilliant news. I think that's about the right sort of price for it, £10 million. You know, I'm... I think so. He's getting the football club, he's getting the training ground, he's getting the hotel. He's very proud and, you know, he's, he's actually announced, he's, you know, he's proud to take care of our club and he's going to invest in it and make us better and take us back to where we belong. So that's all positive, isn't it, coming through? You might have noticed um, Blackpool Bible, actually, on Instagram mentioned it earlier and they said that um, the muckers as you know and I've done the video for the muckers and the muckers are at the moment that they're, they're out going from the tower from the Eiffel Tower down to the Blackpool Tower and they had a target of £5,000 and they were £1,306.19p I think short they've had a, a, a donation today of £1,306 you know to clear it off to take it 5000 it's from one particular uh, person and it's from Simon Sadler. So, you know, how to win friends and influence people. I mean, that's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I am so super excited about this. I can't begin to tell you. I hope you're excited about it too. And, it, and if you are, you know, post down uh, in the comments below and tell me, you know, your thoughts on this. But I think it's absolutely brilliant. I'm so excited. I, I don't know how excited you are, but the Gazette have posted some interesting facts about him so if you're in exile I'll tell you what they've put he was he's 49 years old he's, he, he went to Warbreck High School uh, he supported Blackpool you know through the 80s uh, you know he's mentioned Eamon O'Keefe which of course I did the interview in Rollies with so you know I'm with him there on Eamon O'Keefe Paul Stewart awesome I'd love to get him in Rollers as well Paul's one of my favourite players of of the 80s and of course he mentioned that his favourite player was Ooh Andy Garner so that's that's just brilliant as well and that's fantastic it just gets better and better and better so he's, he's a definite Blackpool fan he bought uh, Stanley Matthews 1953 Cup Winners Medal as well and that is in the Football Museum he moved from Moscow and then to Hong Kong to and he formed an investment company called well a hedge fund management company called Saganti, Saganti Capital and they are the original Blackpool tribe and his Saganti uh, Capital it, the colours of it are tangerine and white so everything about him he started watching football with Blackpool with his dad it is claimed his hedge fund assets are worth over a billion, so I don't know what that actually means. I don't think it means he's a billionaire, but, you know, he's got qu quite a bit of money and backers around him. He has a very close friend called Brett Garrity, Garrity who is going to join him on the board of Blackpool Football Club. They're going on the board today. He's keeping uh, Ben Dixon and Michael Bolingbroke uh, uh, around um, to help him. Tim Fielding is being kept on as a fans advisor to the board. And honestly, I've, I've done interviews I'm with, with Northern Express Glass and with Malcolm Dixon of Grantham Signs. And the only thing that ever comes up all the time is Tim Fielding. He's everywhere. And it's even Tim that, you know, the saying that introduced Simon Sadler to the board. So Tim Fielding, you know, we have a lot to thank you for, Tim. It's absolutely fantastic. So it's all very exciting. Hopefully we'll get some new signings in pretty soon. Uh, I just think Blackpool are coming back. You know, the feeling down at the club, I've, I've told you before, I go down there a lot and it's so happy. It's so good without the Oysters and it's going to be brilliant. I'm really looking forward to next season. I think we're going to get even more season tickets sold now because it's and Sadler, I think that's what we've been waiting for. There's been this wait, all that thing about the 20% of voice you know that, that I mentioned that, that I spoke about. It's all it's all gone. It's it's gone, gone, gone. That's it, it's not coming back. We can all come back, we can all sing and you know, we can sing our song. We got the oysters out there. I've been playing on the piano. We can do that. So that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, as I say, I'm super excited. 
I'd love to get Simon Sadler into rollies. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I mean, if I could just get Simon Sadler in rollies and do an interview with him. I, I don't know. Somebody's at the club watching. Make it happen, Tim. Make it happen, anybody. I need to interview uh, Simon Sadler for us all in, in rollies. That's my bucket list dream now. And now I know it's Simon Sadler. Thank you, every everyone, for um, watching all the videos. And it's going to be so exciting now. I've got. I've actually got 500 subscribers. We've got the 500. That's brilliant. Now, now I need a thousand. We need to make these bigger because the bigger we get the more I can do so I'd just like to say thank you very much to all those that have subscribed it, it means it's fantastic we're over 500 now my next goal is a thousand obviously the bigger I get this the more I can do you know if I had a 10,000 subscribers I'd definitely have, have, an, have an interview in rollers with, with Simon Sadler so it's that kind of thing you've got to get it bigger and bigger but there's going to be so much good stuff now this vlog is just going to get better and better because Blackpool are going to get better and better and higher and bigger and it's just it's going to be amazing so stick with me just keep watching I love the fact you watch it and I'm, I'm just I hope you're all excited if you are you know really excited about this Simon Sadler thing post in the comments below because I'd love to you know to hear your, your you know just join in, in in the comments below and tell me all how, how you feel I'll catch you in the next video thank you very much for watching thank you very much for subscribing see you in the next one